Okay, here we go, everybody. We're on my next accident case, Desert Encounter, New Mexico, USA. There are four casualties, so let's go check it out. Get this done. Let's solve this mystery here. So I see there's a bus, which is a police prisoner bus and a uh, bandit car sitting here so we got two vehicles involved and we have four casualties uh, in this we have two bandits one in the bus one in the black car and two police uh, prisoner guards one in the bus is a driver and one outside the rear end of the bus so we're going to take care of this scenario or the scene now as quickly as we can okay so we're gonna get our map to see where we're at okay checked our location let's get out try to call find a way to call for an emergency and the way we're gonna do that is check this sign right here and that sign says there's a gas station nearby all right so now we got to head over there unfortunately they don't let you drive the car to the gas station it just goes to black and then uh, we end up there yeah I hopefully they start enhancing this game to where they'll let you drive or not go to black maybe they'll put up a little splash screen of the car like it's driving okay so let's get out what we're going to do is head over to the gas station very quickly. There's the phone we're going to use, but before we get uh, use the phone, we're going to come to the back side over here and get the first aid kit. Every door is locked here, so don't you know you don't have to worry about checking everything. You can. These are all locked. Uh, use the payphone. She's going to advise you of a whole bunch of stuff. I wish I could click through all these, but I, you have to. You're forced to wait through them. So. Thank you for all the information. The ambulance and police are preparing to leave as we speak. Now, listen to me carefully. I won't be able to guide you, so you'll need to pay attention now. And I'm verbalizing this for those that can't see but can hear. I'd like to ask you to return to the scene of the accident and help as much as you can. First, the convicts may still be around, so for your own safety, start by locking away all the guns if there are any. There are there are actually three. Also, the sheriff asks that you do this with some sort of cloth so that you don't leave your own fingerprints. After that, you'll need to turn off the ignition in all the cars, check all the victims, and decide whom you're going to help. I already know who to help. It's the officer that's in the bus. They're both shot. Uh, choose a person who is the most critical. I believe that's what it said. Something like that. So, let's get to it. I guess if anything else, my videos are going to be more of a guide of how to get things done instead of just like watching me figure it out. Uh, because what I was doing in the beginning is I was, and you want to get the handkerchief out of your glove compartment here. And go ahead and close that back up and then head back to the scene. Yeah, so I, I guess what I was doing is recording and finding out that I was failing. And then so I decided to stop, stop the videos until I figured it out. And then I would, um, okay, let's get out. And then I would start recording. All right, so now what we got to do is turn off the ignitions in all the cars. So you go to the driver's side, open his door, and the ignition will be right there. Okay. And you go over here to the, around the front of the bus. You're going to get in. And um, the ignition's right there. Okay, now store all the weapons. There's a weapon on the floor. Uh, there's one there um, over here on the floor right here that's the first one that I remember seeing now I don't think you could pick up uh, any more there's one here too but it won't show up until you put this one away so let's go put this away into the trunk you're gonna go to your trunk and put it away store all weapons in your trunk it says see, so there's three of them and after you place all of these weapons in here, you're going to have to lock the trunk up so the bandits don't 
come by and take them from you. There's another one out here, somewhere on the floor. Okay, that one's not going to show up right now. Uh, yeah, okay. That was a waste. There it is, right here. Okay, it's near the bus. Okay, put that in there. I just shut the trunk. I don't know why. I just naturally did it the first time I ran through this scenario. And uh, there's a other last third gun down here in the floorboard. Yeah, so I just naturally closed it. Uh, but now, after you put this in here, you grab your keys from your ignition of your, of your car. So you can secure it. You, I thought you could just get them, but you can't. You got to get inside the car and then pull them out and then get back out. You got to watch you don't click shut the door like I did when I was first going through this. Shut the trunk, which I should have did before. Lock it. Okay, now you can go check out all your victims. So I started with the uh, the police officers first because, you know, they're the ones who are uh, transporting these prisoners. So you got to shake him up, see if he's awake. Uh, clear his airway. Check for his breathing. He's okay. He's still shallow with breathing. Okay. Injuries? Yes. Okay. He was shot in the stomach. Go to the other officer. Get in. Check him. He has a bullet hole in, in his back or in the front. I don't know if they shot him from the back or the front. Okay. He doesn't respond. Clear his airway so we can uh, check his breathing. Okay, unfortunately he's not breathing, so where he's got a bullet hole, bullet wound there. Okay, there's two more victims, so let's go out and check um, on the prisoner that's behind the bus and the, or not, yeah, the prisoner that's inside the bus. I was gonna say bandit. He's the prisoner, and the bandit's in the black car. He, I guess, he was trying to help him escape. So shake him up. He doesn't hear us. Check his airway. Looks like he's breathing. Yeah, okay. He still has some life in him. Check his injuries. His injuries, it looks like he was shot here. He has a wound there. Okay, let's go and check our final. It says victim, but our final casualty. I guess I say it because I'm so used to uh, military uh, lingo. Uh, he has a bullet wound in the head. Okay, so he's dead. He's got a bullet wound in the head. So it's uh, the one that we have to check right away is this officer in here. He needs CPR done on him right away. So let's get him out. Then it's perform CPR and all that on him. Okay, let's put our gloves on. First thing we do, right? Now, we got to go ahead and open his airway. Okay, and then perform CPR. Get your clicks perfected. One, two, bam, 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 mm, 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 bam, uh, uh, bam. It's a little off the rhythm. It's a little weird. It's not exactly on the correct beat that you would do normally on a drum. Okay, now we got to check his breathing again. Or no, we got to give him uh, ventilation. Okay, check his breathing. And scenario complete. Well, mostly complete. I forgot we have to find the clues. Which, thankfully, I ran through this earlier. So, or before I recorded. So, I know where they're at. Okay, so, we're going to discover a, a gamut of stuff here. Look, there's six. It sounds intimidating, but it's not too, too bad. So, right here you got bullet holes. There's one clue, second clue in the tires, two. Then you come over here, you're going to find bullet casings. There's three. Uh, these are the skid marks, you don't have to worry about those. Uh, over here, you have, uh, oh, not the skid marks, you have blood on the... Bloodstains in the car. They got shot. 
and then over here you have debris and then there's another one that, oh, let me see if I can remember uh, where it was oh, I'm drawing a blank right now uh, where I saw that other clue it wasn't in here was it in here oh my goodness I can't remember I forgot <laughs> oh I think it was further down the road Oh my goodness, I forgot where the other clue was at. Was we, oh, damn, there it is. Okay. I remember they are all local. They were really close by. Okay, let's put the clues in order. So the police are there. Well, the police showed up. Wow, that was quick. I, knew, I, I guess I didn't pay attention to the sound, but they showed up. So there's the whole scene right there as we piece together the events. So let's go ahead and put our clues together. All right, so first of all, uh, the prison bus was attacked. That sounds about right. Uh, the blow of the tire, that sounds like another correct thing. Uh, the back car hits the bus. The bus flips over along the road. Um, shoots attack. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, my God. I did this good. There you go. I did it good earlier. Uh, tumbles and then um, it hits the bus. No, nope. oh my goodness, I'm just guessing now. Okay, no, come on now. Okay, finish in there, it's a success. All right, so what do we have? The prison bus is attacked by the bandits, a bullet blows a tire, which causes the bus to slide. To slide, yeah, the bus flips over and tumbles along the road. The bus driver shoots at the attacker. A bandit is hit in the head. The black car hits the bus. All right. So there we go. We, all our clues that we found are in order. So now we have success. Elliot. Elliot was taken straight to the nearest hospital while being res uh, resuscitated along the way. The doctors miraculously managed to save his life, but the collision with the car broke his neck already uh, weakened by age and uh, the bus roll along the road ro buses roll along the road even more da damaging was the loss of oxygen to the brain he was paralyzed for the rest of his life with limited control of his arms and head Elliot uh, Barrett died at home eight years after the accident and was buried by his wife Brock despite losing consciousness Brock condition was not as severe as it might appear the bullet managed to avoid any major organs and after a careful operation and a long convalescence he returned to duty as a police officer he was immediately awarded purple heart medal and a commendation he quickly rose to the ranks and ended his career as a major in charge of a small police station in his hometown okay good for you brock next oliver oliver grant was killed during the chase with the prison bus as an orphan and only a low-ranking member of his organization nobody claimed his remains he was buried in a potter's field at the nearest cemetery. His funeral was attended only by cemetery employees. Sad for you, buddy. Jerry. After the attack, Jerry uh, Tanner was uh, brought to the prison hospital where his wounds were treated. After that, he served the rest of his sentence in relative peace and now works as a carpenter in a remote town in Alaska, far from the memories of his criminal past. All right, there we go. That's all of the um, the the uh, casualties so we have a success, success success in this scenario let's end the scenario now let's see how it happened Okay, well, there it is. Uh, it looked like that bandit was shooting at the prisoner on purpose. Um, I guess he was paid to have a hit on the prisoner so he don't speak or about something, maybe? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. So there it is. It co that completes our desert encounter in New Mexico, USA. Um, let's go ahead and uh, check this out, this, this message. 
All right, uh, good job. Looks like uh, you've solved all the cases for now. There still may be some more in the future, but for now, I'm really proud of you. You deserve a little break. Thanks, Mark. Oh, okay. For now. Okay. Well, let's see. It looked like there was some, uh, uh, there was another one. Oh, Seashore Tragedy. Okay. So thank you all for watching on um, this uh, video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if, uh, if you please. Also, if you'd like to uh, uh, get um, notifications when there's uh, new content uh, uploaded to my page, please uh, go ahead and smack that bell. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to uh, seeing you come back another time when we up when I upload and we go through the seashore tragedy case, uh, the Isle of Man lo location. There's uh, one, two, three, four casualties involved in this one. Okay, until then, take care of yourselves and everyone else. Uh, peace out, everybody.